This segment provides information on the use of the Carry Crimp 2. The Carry Crimp 2 is capable of handling a variety of hoses up through the sizes you see listed on the screen. The Carry Crimp 2 can be operated with a variety of portable pumps. Your Carry Crimp 2 machine comes with a serial number for registration purposes. Begin by selecting the right dies. To do this, refer to the Park Crimp decal on the machine. Since this demonstration calls for half-inch hose, the blue die is the right one to use. Also check the die ring information. The Park Crimp decal will note whether to use the silver or black die ring for your hose assembly. Now pull the pin on the pusher for easy access to the die bowl. Then drop the dies in the Carry Crimp 2's die bowl, making sure to leave the gap in front. That makes it easier to remove a bent stem fitting. Next, place the die ring on the dies. Or if you're crimping a bent stem fitting, insert the hose assembly from the bottom and then place the die ring on top of the dies. Since both sides of the die ring are the same, it doesn't matter which side is up. Move the pusher back into position and replace the pin. Now insert the hose assembly from the bottom. Adjust it so the bottom of the fitting shell sits on the parka line step in the dies. Holding the hose lightly, turn the pump on and turn the valve handle lowering the pusher. Wait until the die ring is bottomed on the base. Then to remove the hose assembly, reverse the valve on the pump. It's also a good idea to confirm the crimp diameter for each assembly. You can find the correct diameters on the Park Rim decal in the Parker Hose Products Division 4400 catalog or online at Crimp Source. As the final step, remove any particles in the hose with compressed air and cap if necessary to avoid contamination. Those are the basics of your Carry Crimp 2 machine. If you need more information, please refer to your technical manual. Thanks for watching and enjoy working with the Park Rimp Difference.